folks, Kevin here from Greenlight Solutions. Going to do a quick video on a faulty tree port valve. So this is our tree port valve in question with the pump underneath it and the return. Returning from the hot water and returning from the heating. So the tree port valve uh, determines directional flow. Either flowing down this way from the hot water or flowing this way from the heating. When the spindle is up, it's returning from the heating back into the heat exchanger. Or when the spindle is down, it returns from the hot water. Now to pop it off, there's a small little nib underneath here. You press it and rotate the valve. The head, sorry, rotate the head. The head now comes off. And what we see here, if we get up nice and close, is a spring. So this spring, in this case, is sticky. So when I push it down, it is very slow to return back up. So it has to be pulled up. So when it doesn't return up fully, water now passes from both the hot water and the heating side at the same time, which in therefore runs up huge bills on your heating system. So much so that you take out the tree port valve and you can replace it with a newer model, uh, a non-spring loaded type. So very faulty, very uh, common problem on these uh, Niwe systems.